We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond Inc. doing a full transition from the dip area to the rip area and then pulling downwards in the second half of the day today. But it wasn't the only stock falling. The overall market in the SPY did as well. And our SPY bot since 1040 AM sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside pure weakness there on 42 vision and put options went up 300 percent plus within an hour guys if you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are with BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond Inc. doing that full transition from the dip area to the rip area, pulling back down to yesterday's support levels and here in the after hours, really close to $4. We're going to break down what's going on within the charts and our inflow versus outflow. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations and if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge over the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together so the home run of the day was from our tesla bot our tesla bot sent out a bear indicator at 9 35 a.m and from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the Discord and our 42 vision indicators. And we look forward to having you join us. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with bbby bed bath and beyond inc and as i stated earlier in the video doing a full transition not just from the dip area to the rip area but from way back here on january 12th after hitting those highs of 570s doing a full transition from the rip to the dip and back from the dip to the rip here of wire fred borders to bright green bars and if it's your first time coming across the channel this is 42 vision which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors. All looking to learn and grow together by using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond Inc. And as it started within this short squeeze way back here on january 9th we could see that bull indicator and inflows dominating all throughout that time and all that strength here on the 30 minute from around one dollar and 38 cents to the highs here of 556 and things have been a little bit more volatile here within the last three days right since friday of last week and the last two days of this week right we got a bull indicator here yesterday at around 348 things pushed up to 448 came back down and today it hit highs here of 470 to 480 mark and it rejected off that key resistance there before getting to five dollars came back down inflows try to hold up they crossed yesterday and now the outflows are dominating again as we're at minus 0.15 and andre bear indicator since 422 we're at some critical levels here we're still in a staircase effect here and we're going to break down some key levels to watch here and what it is I would watch going into tomorrow. So the first thing I would watch going into tomorrow here is these inflows versus outflows on the 30 minute. We're now below with the outflows dominating. I would be watching if these inflows can cross back up 
because that strength could start reflecting into the chart with the possibility of canceling out this bear indicator followed by a bull indicator and also the last time we crossed over was yesterday and right around these levels is where that bull indicator popped up and we jumped up from the 350s to highs here the 450s and today even reaching highs of 480 now it's not guaranteed to do that but something to watch and keep in mind that when these inflows pick up and they cross back over that strength starts to reflect into the chart especially if a bear indicator gets canceled followed by a bull indicator like it did here canceled the bear indicator from 490s and got a bull indicator down here at 350 right something to keep in mind and watch closely now here we are with the 30 minute with the outflows dominating but it's not the only time frame we also have here within the volatility the 15 minute having done a full transition from the rip area to the dip area followed by a bear indicator up here since 436 and the outflows crossed since that point and have been dominating all day right into the second half of the day here and we're at some critical supports and resistance to watch and the bull indicator from yesterday down here at the 350 mark and the inflow crossover have been canceled by these outflows crossing over and this bear indicator popping up and now outflows are dominating again but we're really close to the midpoint and i'll be watching that going into tomorrow as we're at minus 0.1 if these inflows could cross back over and eventually roll over into the 30 minute or will the outflows reject off that point and pull further away from the midpoint continuing to dominate over the chart within the volatility putting pressure on the 30 minute to continue below as well now when we go over to the one hour we could go ahead and zoom out here and see that the bear indicator was actually canceled the one that popped up here around 460s back on january 13th on friday of last week and that's around the area of rejections that we just saw today even though a bull indicator has popped up and we're slightly below where that bull indicator popped up at around 405 to 406 and the inflows are still above the midpoint but outflows are beginning and this is going to be crucial because within the volatility if this crosses over that weakness can start reflecting into the chart pretty quickly to test other supports and within that volatility on the one hour will this bull indicator get canceled by a bear indicator i'm going to be watching that very closely as we're at critical levels on the one hour chart with a bull indicator and inflow still dominating but those outflows are beginning and trying to get towards the midpoint and if it crosses things could start rapidly getting weaker on the charts overall especially if the 15 minute and the 30 minute continue to be below the midpoint as we see it now the key levels i would watch going into tomorrow the first support is 372 the low of the day and where things bounced off after that bull indicator yesterday within the volatility that is a critical support level here and below that is 350 where the bull indicators popped up and if that gets broken through i'll be watching the 320 and three dollar area especially if these outflows continue to the downside on the 30 minute on the five minute and also the 15 minute and if that weakness actually rolls over into the one hour it will be critical as it's really close to the midpoint i'll be watching that especially if a bear indicator pops up and cancels out that bull indicator now on the 30 minute once again if these inflows could pick up and we start seeing that strength reflect into the chart the first resistance is four dollars where that bear indicator popped up nearly above that is 420 and then comes the highs of the day and that rejection point where things were consolidating on friday of last week before falling which is 480 guys and then above that we'll start looking at newer levels and reanalyzing the charts if that strength continues as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money